Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. I am doing a requested video today. I had a handful of you ask me, hey, I want your recipe for peanut butter bars. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's simple, delicious, and very unhealthy. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is some type of crispy rice cereal, light corn syrup, creamy peanut butter, sugar, and for a topping, some type of chocolate chip. I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, in this saucepan is one cup of sugar, one cup of light corn syrup, one cup of peanut butter. And what I'm going to do is heat this up and allow it to melt and stir it all up. It's a little challenging doing this one-handed, but I'm going to stir all of this up. I'll show you what it looks like and show you what to do next. Okay, this is what the mixture looks like. And this is what I have in here. I have five and a half cups because six seems to be too many of the crispy rice cereal. And so what I'm going to do is put that peanut butter, corn syrup, and sugar mixture in here and mix that up. Okay, the next thing you do is take that crispy rice mixture with the melted peanut butter, caro syrup, and sugar, and you mix it all together and you place it in a greased pan. Then you take one package of your favorite kind of chocolate. It could be semi-sweet, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you like. You melt this in batches so you don't burn it, and then you're going to place it on top of this. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. This is going to go into the refrigerator, and I'll probably take it out in the morning, so I'm going to finish filming now. But these are the ingredients. Five to six cups of crispy rice cereal in a little saucer pan. You're going to take one cup peanut butter, one cup sugar, one cup light corn syrup, mix it up so it melts, mix it in with those five to six cups of crispy rice type cereal, then grease a pan. I'm using this because it's a throwaway, so I don't have to clean a pan. And then you're going to allow it to at least chill for several hours. Once you've got the melted chocolate on, I melted this in the microwave in 30 second intervals. Put it on top of this, refrigerate it, and then in the morning, cut it up into teeny tiny pieces. And then freeze some, put a couple in the refrigerator. I would recommend storing these in the refrigerator. So let me know if this is something that you would ever bring to a gathering. I know, like I said, it's not low calorie, it's not healthy, but it is easy. It's five ingredients or less, and it is a more frugal type recipe. So it is okay to have this very sparingly. That's all I have to say. I love you, appreciate you, and hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.